Aloy? She's gone. Really gone. You knew she couldn't have survived, Aloy. And her achievements were... beyond exceptional. While her people bickered, she was the one who took responsibility. The only one who could. She was better than them. That's not what I said. She was. You shouldn't be afraid to admit it. You just for one moment stop calculating and let yourself feel. She sacrificed herself for her friends, for the future, for life on Earth. Doesn't that stir anything in you? The generosity of it. You're trying to invest her decision with something magical. It was a rational choice, not based on sentimentality. You're wrong. Remember, she knew it wasn't enough for Gaia to think. She taught Gaia to feel, to care, to sacrifice, to believe in life, enough to fight against hopelessness. If it wasn't for that sentimentality, life would have ended. You and I would never have existed. Your argument is sound. I'm sorry for your loss. She said she wanted to go home. Maybe. What? Nothing. It's time to go on. That's a pretty big maybe. Pry open door. Just a second there. <clears throat> Hello, Margo. Uh, How are you holding up? Um. Dr. Onsen, I've been getting a lot of messages, unsolicited messages, from Ted. Margo, I'm sorry. With Liz... gone, we've got no one to run interference with him. I'll talk to Ted. He mostly wants updates, constant updates, hundreds of updates on things he knows nothing about. Liz used to field all of his crap. He doesn't understand the systems at all. I was kind of by design, but he's getting pretty sketchy with me. We just have to keep him happy. Liz always said, keep him happy. Are you kidding? You ever hear how she talked to him? <laughs> she was managing him, Margo. I mean, maybe I should ignore him. He's buried in his pyramid with the Hola Hola girls and Panta Antimon Cuckoos. What can he do? I mean, I gotta pry open the door. That's what I'm gonna do. But usually, it shuts behind. Nothing. Just a whole lot of nothing. Something. Eleuthia runtime check. All right. Let's start over from Eleuthia 1. Running integrity tests. Dr. Brochard Klein. May I seek outside protocol? I suppose so. The 
there's no one to stop you. Doctor, you are fatigued. You have been logging abnormal sleep cycles. Are you suffering from depression? Well, I am trapped in a science facility for the rest of my life. How about you? In a time slice of a quadrillion operating cycles, 10,000 are involved with processing the loss of Dr. Sobek. I have considered quarantining these processes. Do you think that would be wise? I'm not a psychologist, Gaia, or, or an AI scientist. I... No. It is... natural. At least in the context of the work you and I have accomplished, which begs the meaning of the term natural. She was your creator, the patron saint of this crazy endeavor, our lady of the fervent hypothetical. Even assuming a string of significant failure combinations, Zero Dawn's chances of success are greater than the hypothetical. Hmm. It's called a manner of speech, Gaia. Take a note. exactly is pablum this game has a lot of words that are quite unfamiliar oh it's misspelled bland or insipid intellectual matter entertainment interesting Pabulum, not Pablum. Although apparently Pablum was baby food. There's another section at the back of the crater. Looks like it survived the blast. Because it was armored, you found the control room. I'm on my way. I gotta give props to the level design department. Ooh, boy. This is going. Continue. Right. Ok, 
continue where? Not there. Is this supposed to be? I don't even want to ask. That seems way too far to jump. Advice. You gotta keep going, Aloy. When I opened the hatch, the air rushed in from this side. Because there was none inside the chamber. But the Alphas were in there. Anything to sell? There is. This is it. I'm locked out of core control. Alpha clearance overridden. What the hell is Omega clearance? Oh no. Alpha personnel. Sorry to alarm you, but I need you to listen, okay? To what I'm about to say. This isn't easy. See, uh, 
of, uh, please, stop trying to access the set system, okay? See, see, what this is about is, um, I said stop trying to access the goddamn system. And what, what I'm trying to say is I can't stop thinking about the ones who come after us. Those innocents. Those blameless men and, 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 and women. We're going to give them knowledge? Like it's a gift? Ted, Ted, we've talked about this before. Apollo has 3,000 plus fail-safe conditions. It's not a gift, it's a disease. They're the cure, and we're going to give them the disease. Our disease? No, we can't. And it's not too late. If we're willing to sacrifice. Ted, it doesn't need to be like this. It already is, Samina. I did it three minutes ago. I've purged Apollo. It's gone, all of it, every copy. A sacrifice? It's not a sacrifice. It's cultural obliteration, you crazy bastard. Millennia of culture. I'm sorry. Really, I am. But sometimes, to protect innocence, innocents have to die. Emergency alert. Planting atmosphere. This crazy son of a bitch. You can't make that decision by your damn self, you pharaoh. This is why we were trapped in benighted ignorance for an innocent future. Blameless men. He never saw the slaughter in the sun ring. Everything these people achieved, all the knowledge of the old ones, evaporated, turned to dust, scattered to the void, like the alphas themselves. No, not a void. When the hatch unsealed and scattered their ashes on the wind, it took them out among the world they made. The world we're living in. It's... it's a monument to what they died trying to accomplish. A monument to oblivion. Not oblivion, silence. Hope. This is just... So insane. And really the only explanation you could give to a game with this premise. The Master Override. That's so small. Now all you have to do is kill Hades with it. Oh, is that all I have to do? Oh, that's easy. I'll just go ahead and do that. That didn't sound good. Try not to fall to your death. The master override doesn't override gravity. Don't tell me this. Well. Keep holding, keep holding. No when to hold them. No when to fold them. No when to walk away. No when to stay.
I'm sorry, what? Was I not following a path? How in the hell? Nope, I don't get it. You're... here. For a moment. What? Our journey together has come to an end, Aloy. But before I go, I think I owe it to you to tell you the rest of the story. Go on. Some time ago, I admitted that I'd been... involved with the Eclipse. But I never told you the full extent of my culpability. The truth is, I was there at the beginning. I found Hades, Aloy, buried on that mountain, trapped in that shattered titan. And I served it. What? It promised knowledge and delivered such knowledge you have no idea. And in exchange? I helped create the Eclipse, helped it build a cult, an army to do its will. Why are you telling me this now? Because your success depends on knowing this. When I found Hades, the first thing it wanted to know about was the Spire. Not Meridian. The Spire. Now why would that be? The Spire was created by Gaia. Which part of Gaia? M Minerva. It's code-breaking module. Gaia built spires to transmit the codes that deactivated the Pharaoh robots, shut down their biomatter conversion systems. Hades wants to send a new transmission, to wake the machines so they can devour the world all over again. Yes. Based on what we've learned, that's my conclusion as well. So the Eclipse, the robots they've resurrected, they're just a means to an end. An army to capture the Spire. Yes. So Hades can exterminate life all over again. Unless you stop it. I want you to tell me everything. Hades, the Eclipse. Everything. It's a long story, Aloy. Then get started. It began with a focus. Recovered from an ancient ruin, as yours was so many years ago. In my case, the device was heavily damaged. There was just a flicker of life in it. I spent weeks studying it, attempting repairs, until finally, I succeeded. A whole new dimension of perception revealed, right before my eyes. That's when I detected it. A faint signal. Out there, something was searching, just like I was. A real kindred spirit. I followed the signal to its source. A shattered titan buried in the jungles of the jewel. So you thought it was a titan? An old war machine? I didn't know what to think. I'd seen such wreckage before. The Grave Horde, for example. But this was different. This was not quite dead. It couldn't speak when I found it, until my repairs gave it a voice. So began an exchange of knowledge. It wanted to know everything about our world, its tribes and machines. But the Spire 
was always its foremost concern. What did it want to know about the spire? Its precise location, the surrounding geography, who controlled the land. Meanwhile, Hades revealed to me many of the intricacies of ancient technology. It bid me to recover and repair more focuses. Before long, I had a couple dozen up and running. Enough to equip a small army. The commanders of one, anyway. I didn't care. I was learning so much. Physics, calculus. You have no idea. And the Shadow Karja? How did they become involved? The Karja Civil War was a happy coincidence. A perfect opportunity. <laughs> An opportunity? That's what it was to you? Yes. Overnight, half the tribe was in exile, desperate to win back Holy Meridian. Their religion made them easy to manipulate. All I had to do was present Hades as the buried shadow of their mythology. So yes, it was an opportunity. I arranged for High Priest Bahavas to meet with Hades. Helis was there as well. And so the Eclipse was born. Anything to win back Holy Meridian. But Hades didn't care about Meridian. And neither did you. We live in a world of fallen cities and vanished tribes. What were a few more? Besides, I was too busy setting up the cult's focus network to Hades' specifications. <laughs> a thrilling technical challenge. Especially with the alterations I included of my own design. The ability for you to spy on them. Yes. I may have been foolish enough to serve Hades, but I was never so foolish that I trusted it. I installed what the ancients used to call a back door in the network. Secret access, empowering me to monitor all activity and communications. What made you turn on Hades? It certainly wasn't your conscience. Actually, I was troubled the first time I saw the Eclipse raise an ancient war robot. With my technology. I questioned Hades about its intentions. A little late? Indeed. I'd already outlived my usefulness. When I completed work on the Focus Network, Hades summoned me to receive my reward. The next moment, I heard it broadcast my kill order. I've been a fugitive ever since. So when did I come into this? Our path together? When Olin stumbled on you. System threat detected. That got my attention. A kill order against a savage Nora girl? Why would Hades bother with that? But then I saw that this Nora girl was wearing a focus and bore an uncanny resemblance to a great scientist of the old world. Helis moved quickly. I thought you were dead. But then I detected your focus inside the Nora mountain. The more I observed you, the more convinced I became of your extraordinary nature and usefulness. Through you, I could finally discover the secrets of the Earth. I vowed to do everything I could to ensure your success. The rest, as they used to say, is history. The things you've done in the pursuit of knowledge, Silence. Pure recklessness. Aloy, this wasn't a confession to elicit your judgment. <sighs> Unbelievable. I've done all I can. From here on out, the rest is up to you. Take my lance. Fit the Master Override to it, and you have a means of injection. Then I just need to get close enough to Hades' skull to stab it in? Exactly. Oh, no problem. Silence! Where will you go? Elsewhere. And everywhere. 
There's so much more to discover before the world ends. And all this? I leave it to you, of course. As it turned out, it was yours all along. I was merely trespassing. in shadow. Incorrect. Bow before the buried shadow. The buried shadow? I... I don't understand. Did Araman understand the glint hawk that perched upon the alight? It speaks scripture. Araman followed the shadow cast from the spire. To the mesa where Holy Meridian was founded. You will follow the shadow once more. I am a righteous man, chosen of the sun. But in times of need, the powers of shadow can accomplish what the sun alone cannot. Will, will you return to us what is ours, O oh, shadow of prophecy? An army is required. Obey, and Meridian is yours. Of our obedience, you can be certain. Oh my. Task is complete. Yes. The focus network is active, built to your specifications. Check it yourself if you must. I'll wait. But I remind you of the reward you've been withholding. Quantum processing? Data has been compiled. Volume too great for transfer. How inconvenient for me. Come before me. You shall receive your reward. Very well. Helis, threat detected inside Eclipse. Speak its name, O Shadow, and it will die. You will eliminate this one. Silence. Silence? Yes. A truth whispered at night is seen in the day. He was never one of us. It will be done. Savage. I traveled far to find you. I heard your transmission. It was you, wasn't it? Entity is not known. I'm called Silence, and you are. I don't think you'd have called out if it wasn't something you wanted. You called, I responded. Will you tell me your name? Hades. You are a creation of the ancients. A war machine? Define timeline. Time? Ah. It is the 13th king of the Karja Sundom's reign. Define. Karja. We're getting ahead of ourselves. Were you created by the ancients? I wonder how long you waited here, buried, until I chanced upon you. How long you'd have to wait for another. You're obviously very powerful. But you're not going to get anywhere without me. Titan frame merely houses intellect. Define Karja. Now that's more like it. That's a nice lance.
recovered a powerful weapon. Reached level 50. Oh my. Max health plus 10. A. Let's disarm traps, why not? Also, this thing. For no reason. Quests, quests, the musical fruit. Go to the Palace of the Sun. Just where I didn't want to go. I can still go into the frozen wilds. But, side mission. Ancient armory. Let's do that. Can I fast travel? No? Let's fast travel here. Yeah. Instead of walking my way back out, I mean... Fast travel is still kind of a stupid way to travel, but it's so fast. Just imagine the things I could have seen along the way. Would you look at that? A billion grazers. I've been waiting for this for, what, I don't know, about a month in real time. <laughs> At least 20 or 30 hours gameplay. Let's go see what this ancient armory is all about. Oh. Shake it out later. You'll shake it out later? Alright. How about a new outfit for the occasion? Or, you know, new. Can be anything. That headgear just looks dumb. Same. Already wearing it. Eagle headgear. That looks kind of tough. This one is basically protected against everything. Hmm. I love the eagle feathers and headgear though. It's pretty great.
let's do some. No, no, no. Let's not. Let's not and say we did. No, we're good. Those clamps have the armor locked in place. Those clamps you can't see yet. Power up the mechanism. Release the clamps. You want I should give him the clamps? This is the outfit Elizabeth was wearing, no? Is this Elizabeth? Is this what she meant when she said going home? Where was her home? Only two more. Just one more. There we go. The last one. All powered up. Now to get the dials in position. There must be some kind of code. Hmm. I'm not good at math. 90, 720, 360. So degrees, right? Does it matter what order? Wait, so if you're 90, right? And if you're 270, that means you're 360. You're 360, then you're 540, and you're 630. Maybe not. So, 90. I mean, it is on a 90 degrees, right? 270 degrees, right? 360 degrees, depending on the starting point. 450, 630. I think I might be missing something. So, could it be the other way around? Would that make sense? Or do I actually have to rotate them that amount of degrees? to be did it what let's have a look at that armor inside hmm kind of screwed up on that last All one right. but I'll take now it let's see what we can do with this material what is this material Looks pretty cool though. Shield Weaver. One Shield Weaver outfit box. What? The fuck? This box must be open to reveal its contents. A box holding a special outfit. Shield Weaver outfit. Take it. 
got the shield weaver outfit. Sweet. Technology salvaged by Aloy and stitched to Nora leather projects a damage absorbing force shield. Takes time to recharge when depleted. I mean, yes, please. Oh, that's dope. Oh, that's pretty dope. The LED outfit. everything because that instantly makes all the other outfits obsolete I mean it took me long enough to get here don't get me wrong but still Gather the resources needed to obtain a Nora Silent Hunter Heavy. I don't want that anymore. <laughs> Go to Dusk Mesa. Fernand, a shady opportunist, told, told Aloy of an ancient relic cached at Dusk Mesa. Hmm. Hmm. How about collecting some of these flowers? Yes? Shall I? I believe I shall. Let's drop a quick save while we're at it. Maybe test the armor.
Here we You're go. You're a question waiting for an answer. It may indeed be fantasy when I essay to draw from all created things deep, heartfelt, inward joy that closely clings and trace in leaves and flowers that round me lie lessons of love and earnest piety. So let it be, and if the wide world rings in mock of disbelief it brings so will I build my altar in the fields, and the blue sky my fretted dome shall be, and the sweet fragrance that the wild flower yields shall be the incense I will yield to thee, thee only God, and thou shalt not despise even me, the priest of this poor sacrifice. These are so strange, in a good way. Hmm, where does logic say it might be? What do you have to say? The dust of many crumpled, crumbled cities settles over us like a forgetful doze. But we are older than those cities. We began as a mineral. We emerged into plant life. 
and into the animal state and then into being human and always we have forgotten our former states except in early spring when we slightly recall being green again hmm that's quite beautiful Fantastic. It'd be fascinating if they weren't looking for me. Savage. Okay, this outfit is That's amazing. It. I'm already gone. Where's that flower? There it is. My turn.
The moon's reflected on the river a few feet away. A lantern shines in the night near the third watch. On the sand, egrets sleep, peacefully curled together. Behind the boat, I hear the splash of jumping fish. I can get out of this. Nutritious. Crocodilians. is really powerful and this armor is amazing. This is great. Takes away some of the stress.
attention. Here it is, the last one. Well, you're not ordinary. All metal flowers found like it. When you are so full of sorrow that you can't walk, can't cry anymore, think about the green foliage that sparkles after the rain. When the daylight exhausts you, when you hope a final night will cover the world, Think about the awakening of a young child. And there you have it. Maybe one last fast travel. Well, I could do that. Clever.
they're just out for a walk here. Minding their own. Easier when I was a kid. Salesperson, let me sell you these things. sell echo shells really expensively.
hardy little plant. You'll help. anymore. Tasty. Rain's easing. Right. Clouds will part soon. I'm gonna drop a save and call it a Dave. 60 hours into this game. Sixty-three and a half hours in. Holy crap, holy. Alright, that'll be that. Until next time.